Mama Shonde 3. I am just going to speak my God Almighty a little and for you all to have my God Almighty to come forth. Those that need to come forth and speak what you have experienced in the spiritual realm. And if it is so, I will confirm it in Jesus' name. By the Holy Spirit. And this is not a making up of story. This is a reality thing. And when I speak early and said for those that need the language to start speak it, one or two of you shut your mouth and afraid to start speak it. It don't sound good, it sound funny. It sound like somebody talking some crab sto cra crab we call it crab toe. That means you know when somebody cannot chill a baby that cannot write and they, they're just marking up things and marking, marking. That's how tongue song. It look that way in the realm of the spirit, it's song that way. So whenever you hear these things, it's not for you to keep your mouth shut. It's for you to start, my God Almighty, utter out of your mouth and whatever your ears speak. Speak it. It's not odd. And it is full time for many of you to desire it. Many people don't want to. Many people don't desire it. They think about it, but they don't desire it. Thinking and desire is two different things, people. Because you're only going to think for a moment. But when you desire something night and day, it rests on your spirit before you go to your bed. You say, God, I need it. Let me speak it. God, bring it to me, God. And it will happen. You don't just think about it. As the Lord God Almighty has bring forth people of God and tell us, my God Almighty, that in Numbers 23, 19, God has said, my God Almighty, hallelujah, that he's not the God that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. Whenever God is speaking, it's for you to believe it. Or if you don't believe it, you know you won't see the manifestation of it. And the thing about it is that for those that are doubtful, the presence of God will not even be in your midst. And I don't know how many people can say, I felt the presence of God. While God is moving and speaking. Glory. Jesus it is Amen. it is a presence that you must feel and if you be obedient to close that eyes and to tap in there is no way under God's event anything can miss you because when God speak he mean it he said he's not the God that he should lie he's not the son of man he's not the God that he should lie not the son of man that he should repent people of God when God's bringing forth some listen to me I was here earlier. I thought, if you all notice, I didn't even speak about the numbers today because God is just doing what he's doing. You all understand me? When I said speak about the numbers today, I, yes, I mentioned the numbers, but I did not even say today is such a number. Today is the 27th. I did not even say that. You all realize it? Yeah. I just go into what God want me to go in. I never thought God was going to take me here today to do what I've just done. I never know it. But from morning I wake up very early. All I'm thinking about is angel and I'm speaking in my spirit. I was just laying down there. My God Almighty, I, my, um, the computer was on earlier with, my, um, the, with the prayers them going off. And, the, and I hear the Spirit of the Lord said, shut, shut it down. I shut the computer down and I, all I do is just stay quiet and listening there. And I'm writing stuff and I'm talking. I never know where I was going. Never know. Until when I was there, the Spirit of the Lord started to speak to me and said, Many are saying, you know, Apostle used to pray when she comes on, every, uh, whenever she has in service. But if you notice what happens, she comes on and she preach, she teach. She, but what you all don't understand, in every message, if you listen every message, I'm praying in them. Okay. When I declare and what of you, I am praying. I am praying. And it is for you all to get a grip and tap into it. 
and the many other priors that is on the line. It's for you all to tap in and to get what God is saying. The enemy has been blocking many of you for a very long time. But God wants for you all to, one thing God wants for you all to do is just to be obedient and hearken to the word of God. Just all, that's all God wants. Amen. Like when he was saying today, it's for us to what? Keep quiet. Don't, don't shout out. Don't, it's not a shout out things. When God is speaking, you don't disturb him with loudness. You don't do that, people. Just stay quiet and I said, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. You know, you whisper to him and you talk to him because it's, that is, is a, is a one-on-one -on -one thing, people. Yes. It is a one-on-one -on -one thing when God is moving. It's not for you to shout out loud and cut the Spirit of God. It's for you to take your time and whisper. If I wasn't the type of person that I am and I was more huffed up and puffed up and believe that I arrive and I'm all that, name it, I could have finished long time. But I pursue, I tap in and said, no, God, let me continue. Because I have been disturbed more than one time. Yes, yes. But I tapped in and decided to flow and go forth with what God said. God want to do great and mighty things for his children, people. This is no joke thing. But it is for you, my God Almighty, to tap in. Many of you, my God Almighty, when God is speaking to many of you and telling you to do things, you are not doing it, but you are not spiting nobody but yourself. Yes. When God speaks and says, do this or do that, and you're there questioning God or want to think your way or want to look your way and want to say your way, you are not spiting nobody but yourself, people. So it is for us as children of God, when God said, do something, we are to do it. I want you all hear what I'm saying. It is for us to be obedient to the Spirit of God. Yes, yes, Apostle, yes. Marco said to the candle of the bush there. God is about to do great and mighty things in your all life. But you all just have to be obedient and be mindful of the wicked old dragon and don't let him lead you to the left nor to the right. You have to tell yourself, my God Almighty, whatever you say, God, I will do whatever you don't say, I don't want to do. I get to the stage right now, people of God. I could have sit down and I could have get on the mat, even with Minister Gay, and I could say, you know, I think I want to live here, I want to do here, I want ask her what I said, wherever God want me to be, that's where I'm gonna be. Amen. Amen. I get to a stage now I don't even choose. Yes, God work on the desire of your heart. But you know what? I just have to tell him, God, I want a niceness. I want a nice that. I want, God, I don't know that place. I don't know where to be. You just choose for me right here. Sometimes we can, let me tell you something. Let me say this to you all. Yeah. With us and God is like when you're getting married. The wife of a say and the husband of a say, come on, talk to me. Any marriage that you see the wife alone have a say, I would advise any man that is married to that woman, run. And if it's a marriage where the husband alone want to have him say, I would advise that woman to run. True or false, people? True. Both people must sit down and plan. And come in agreement. Not even with no parents. The husband and the wife must sit down and plan. Then they must sit down and say, this is what we come, we come together in agreement about. 
That's how it must be with you and God when you're making plan to do things. But how many, how many want to do things like this? Many people, they are so stuck in their ways and so stuck in their behavior and used to doing things for themselves. So when it come on for God to do things, it, 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 it sounds very hard as if it cannot happen. I always making plans for myself. I always doing this for myself. I always this, I always that. When God said he, he is about to do, people of God, it is for us to tap in. He's not the God that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. He mean what he said, people of God. Especially if you're waiting on him. Especially if you're looking to him. Especially if you see yourself being suffering all this time, my God, and you need to be lifted up high in him. Only him alone can do it. Especially you know you have blockage all this time over your life. Amen. Only him alone can do it. And if God said he's going to do something, you are to tap in. Don't let the enemy tell you not to. Don't let the enemy tell you, oh, I don't think this time is me. I don't think. Whenever you are in the midst, invite him. You see what this empowerment line do, does? It helps you to tap in the spiritual realm. Yes, That's what it does, people of God, because none of us is at the same place. Look at it. None of us is at the same place. If we should look online, let me see how many people is online. Allah. I'm not seeing. 28. 28 including you, Apostle. Okay. 28 including me. And I know that there are people that probably come and leave. Now look at this, people of God. Did you know that we can be, all of us can be in 28 state? As well as some of us can be in the same state or in this um in the same village or a different village name it. What I'm trying to say, this is a spirit this is this empowerment line help you to tap in spiritually with God. Amen. Amen. And when you come on this line, just as all the Lord was speaking today and things was going forth, the Lord showed me three people eating. And if you all be fair and honest, you can say, I am one of them. God, show me people eating. And, and, and the Holy Spirit have to say, put away the food. Put away the food. Because the food is blocking you from tapping in. Whenever you're in the presence of God, you don't do those things, people. Especially in, a, in such a time like this when God said, He want to release. Are you not tired of my God Almighty being stuck? And want to see yourself rise? Come on, people. Are you not tired of being stuck and want to see yourself rise? Yes, God. Yes, yes God. Yes. Amen. Whenever you see God bring things like this on this empowerment line, people of God, it's not for nobody to take it lightly. Please, I'm asking you all, please. Yeah, you are. Yes, Apostle. Don't mean, take it lightly. I understand. Do not take it lightly. He told us, my God Almighty, in John 3rd, John 2, 2. He said, I wish above all things that we all may what? Prosper and be in good health. Amen. And if you're in the midst of worshipping and praising him, if you get up, my God Almighty, and let me say this to you, for those that make up for purpose, those that purpose in their mind, doing the fasting on Wednesday and Friday, there's a great, Great blessing coming. Great, great blessing coming. Where you purpose in your mind to fast, to fast for the empowerment line. Not for yourself, but for the line. Fast this, you, you fasting to see better come for this ministry. There's a blessing in, in the midst. You think all these years, I'm, 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 I'm serving God and praying for God's people. And what, you know, one of the things that God, God said I must speak, because many people don't get it. We have been on this empowerment line seven full years now. 
the tenth of March gone makes seven years. I mean, we are like I would say seven years and a month and some days. And what people need to get in their spirit. For all the time we have been on this line, we have never asked anyone to, to give anything into the ministry. It's the first these things are happening. First. Amen. For all these years. For all these years. We never put it out there yet. If you check the messages, them that is that arm um, been out there for the longest while. And there are so many messages that have been put aside that haven't been um, able to, to come forth to release as yet. They, they're already done, but they don't get to release because, as I said, there are some have three computer of stuff that somebody needs to do for me and is delaying without interest. And right there, rise up to tell you, my God Almighty, it has never been told to nobody to give in to this ministry yet. But I rise up to say, and this is no joke thing, this ministry is a ministry that God is going to move upon those that bless this ministry. And they're going to just see things just start to unfold, things just start to put together. Things just start to happen. This is no joke thing. Thank you, thank you, Most High. You know why, people of God? Because the woman of God is not a money grabber, is not a person that wants to tell lies to get money. I don't follow people. I don't listen to what people say and come and do it. I only go strictly by the Holy Ghost. And God told me years ago, not to work, but to depend on Him. And all those times I'm depending on God, I've been going through a lot of suffering. Many things I, I needed, I, you know, many things bypassed me. I, 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 I I'm like, cannot afford, name it and whatever. And I don't sit down and let it stop me from praying for God's people, for doing what I'm supposed to do, name it and whatever. I just wait. I'm just waiting on God to bring forth and to do for me. Because you know what? God has seen out there where many people have gotten so money greedy. And because of that, the anointing cut. So many things happen. Nothing is going on in the midst but shouting and noise. Speaking the truth. Speaking the truth. And God want to do something different. Not that there are, there are one or two people out there. That God is using and even though God get them to a place where they have money now, they could, we could say they're rich, they might have their own business and so forth. It's not all of them, people of God, doing wickedness and so forth. Because some of them, my God Almighty, they are doing great things for the kingdom. You have a few, only a, only a handful of people you find like that out there. And, and and God tell me, he said to me, I want you to be different. And me, and me being different, it's not an easy task, but I'm going through it. And I'm waiting and I'm looking. But all I'm saying, people of God, it is for you all to tap in when God is speaking. Amen. When God want to bring things in your life, you don't doubt it. Doubters are like Thomas. Thomas wasn't able to see when Jesus, my God Almighty, even appear. He comes in the place and see Jesus. He didn't believe that Jesus, my God Almighty, would rise again. And people like those are blessing blacker. I want to hear what I'm saying. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. People that doubt are blessing blackers. You block that blessing that's supposed to come. You look, you limit God. You look and say, oh no, this is not possible for a miracle money to come. Oh, people is going to just give me money. God will, the angel of God will let somebody write you a check and find your address and send it in the mail. Amen. Amen. The angel of God will visit you while you're sleeping and come, my God Almighty, and put money into a drawer. And while you're there doing what you're doing, you see money in the drawer, you're wondering where this come from. Amen. Amen. 
You have money angel. These are money angel, my God Almighty, that work with all these kings and my God Almighty queens. All these people that you see in the Bible, Solomon, people of God, Solomon is... Line muted. Jesus. Amen. Line unmuted. Solomon is, Solomon is my God Almighty, the most richest angel that has ever been in the midst. And with him, let me rise up to tell you, all those eight, all those that were working with him, that were getting the blessing and getting productive and all that and so forth, they becomes angel today and they are in the midst. When Solomon speak, they go forth and do when God tell that angel to do. Amen. You'll be surprised to know. We have all different angel. The Lord God Almighty has revealed to me three angels that come in the midst, my God Almighty, to do great things for this ministry. Three angels. And these are celestial angel people of God. Celestial angel. That will make the way when there seems to be no way. And whenever you hear I'm speaking, don't take it lightly. Some of you, dear my God Almighty, you just lay down and you're just staring and not receiving, just listening. How can you just listen? You must receive. The enemy have you too long down. Mine muted. Jesus. Mine unmuted. The enemy have you too long down. The enemy don't want to see you all rise. The enemy want to keep you all back. But I rise up my God Almighty to cancel every wicked plan of Satan in Jesus name. Whenever God move, whenever God move like this, it is for you all to say, whoever to say, I know God has done something for me. And you're not, you must not just know it, you must feel it and know it. You receive it, you feel it and you know it. You will see things happen for you. You will see things happen for you, people of God. The doubt and the doubt and the doubt won't work. The doubt and the doubt and the doubt won't. It won't work, people of God. I can tell anybody that waiting on God can be so hard. It can look hard. It can look as if things not going to happen. But when you can make yourself occupy for God, it won't look like that. Amen. Yes. Amen. It's just like the Lord tell me years ago not to sleep on the bed, not to sleep on bed. And when God tell me that I was like, okay, so I made my, 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 my bed on the ground and I've been sleeping on the ground. And when I go to people house, I said, listen, me, I don't want no bed. Just give me. Too comfortable, comfort and so forth, and I will lay. It. And I was, how can you do that? Why don't you go on the bed? And it's like, you know, you have some people they are real blessing, blessing blacker, you know, because if you tell them something, why they want you to do what God don't say? And I mean, I've been around quite a few people that have a problem. Why don't you want? I said, listen, don't you happy that I'm not telling you to go over on your bed? Let me stay in the little corner there. Let me lie down. Let me. I'm all right. I'm cool. Even if the person floor, listen to me, you'll be surprised to know. Even if the person floor dirty and stink, I go down there and sleep, people of God. And it's like I'm sleeping in a bed of roses. I want to hear what I'm saying. Amen. 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 Because Amen. I'm under the subjection of God and he know that I was going to go into one or two people's house where the carpet not smelling that clean name. I don't let that bother me. And when I was there, my God Almighty, coming on, when I got this place, I thought that I finished with the ground when I just got this place. And you want to see me, people of God, after I make my bed, I had a, I had a bed that I did make. I get blocks, I get bored, 
I get, um, you know, ply sheet and I spread out and I put it there and I put the mattress on it and I, oh Lord, you want to see my princess bed when I fix up that bed. And I made that bed so nice and everything. And people of God, when I, when I ready to go to bed and bed and nice up and everything and take my little self and go in on the bed, I hear the voice of God said no. I just hear no. It's not yet. Go back down on the floor. I say, all right, God. Just, uh, just like that. Happy. Didn't vex. Didn't upset. Nothing. And I just get more sheet and stuff and whatever you want to make up my bed in the corner. I said, my daughter, you stay in the bed. I'll stay down here. Yeah. Mommy, why are you staying down there? I'm coming down there with you. I said, no problem. Come. And people of God... I stay on that bed, on that ground, because what I obey God. I wonder if you all hear what I'm saying. Yes, 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 and stay in on, stay in on that ground. That's where I gain wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from God. Amen. True obedience. That's where I gain so much from God. So much. So much. People don't understand it. When God tell me, my God Almighty, that you cannot go, go to uh, Thanksgiving dinner, you can't do this, you can't stay home and pray, fast and pray. I said, okay, God. Okay. How many people you think would want to do that? When you obey God, when God speak and you hear it, you will see your blessing come forth, people. Amen. Amen. It is time to reap the sweet. And don't get wrong. When you're reaping the sweet, there can be there can be some drugs in the midst. What am I talking about? Sometimes when you're eating something sweet, it can it can scratch your throat or it can choke you a little, but it won't kill you. Get what I'm saying to you? Amen. 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 These things can happen. But at the same time, you're reaping the sweet. Uh, you understand what I'm saying, people? Yes, yes, yes. So just know that obedience is better than sacrifice. I don't know who is, who is carrying a sadness on the line. Who is carrying a sadness on the line? Somebody carrying a sadness. Somebody is burdened with sadness. Who is that person? Different, my, my, is, is, is it Sister Merlin? Yes, Sister Sarah. But it's time for you to receive from God. God said he will wipe away all tears from your eyes. You can't undone what I've done. Want to hear what I'm saying? Amen. You don't want to die before your time, so you don't want to cry yourself away in depression. Amen. I command that sadness to live. I receive it in Jesus' name. I command it to live. I receive it in Jesus' name. Just receive and get yourself in, the, in that place. I release the peace that passeth all understanding in your spirit. I receive it, Jesus. You understand? Yes. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of your might. You have your grandchildren, them. You have your children, them. Be strong for you and your family. Be strong for them and the rest of them out there that you know that my God, our family. Be strong for them. Don't weary yourself. Don't get down. When God was speaking a while ago, you should be receiving like crazy. Don't black out anything. Like what Joshua would be doing, sitting down and let and want to sleep away. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Be blessed, be blessed, be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. We don't like, we don't like many times things that happen. God will not do things, but he allow things at times to bring a change in the midst. I wonder if you hear what I'm saying. Yes, amen. And um, this debt is going to bring a change. I'm not asking any question. It is going to bring a change. Well, and you look at it like, as that. It's going to bring a change. It, this debt is going to bring a change. It's going to bring a change in somebody's life. I want to hear what I'm saying. Jesus. Amen. It's going to bring a change in somebody's life. I agree. This debt is going to bring a change into somebody's life. I agree, Apostle. I agree in Jesus' name. This is no joke thing. The person that is saying, I agree, you have somebody die? Yes, Apostle. Who am I speaking with? Pardon? Who is, what's your name? Evangelist Margaret. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. You're talking about your daughter? Yes, Evangelist. You, you shouldn't be worrying all this time. It's time for the tears to dry from your eyes. Amen. Amen. It is time for your tears. No, I'm, not I'm not worrying. I'm just agreeing with you. It's Amen. It's not changing my life. Amen. Amen. It does bring a change. When somebody dies, it must cause a change. My mother, husband die, and it bring a change in my mother life. I want you all hear what I'm saying. Yeah. And it must yeah. be a change for better, not for the worse. Not for the worse, but for the better. Amen. Amen. It must bring a change for the better. And I rise up to tell you... Evangelist Merlin, it's going to bring a change in somebody's life. Amen. This is no joke thing. God knows what he allow. He knows wh why he allow things to be like that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to allow... Minister Gay to go forth with the rest of this and um, for what God has spoken today, those that want to ask one or two questions about whatever, don't linger, don't stay on situation, name it people of God, spiritual question, spiritual question so that you can see clearance for manifestation i want to all hear what i'm saying and then, also, can you can you do me a favor and give people an example because i you know we don't want them to come on and necessarily be a you know given out of business but could you use give an example for the people so they'll okay. know what you mean what i'm talking about people of god like when the lord said Hallelujah. Remember, I was talking even earlier that when God speaks something and maybe the reason why some of you don't receive it because of the experience you have or what have you. So the question that you would ask, you would say, what if God speaks something in my life and I don't and I don't receive it? I can able to tell you that, well, because you don't receive it, you won't see it happen. God, God can't able to do it. Because it, where would it go? It wouldn't go anywhere. It have to, if it is for your life, it must come in your life. Or if you don't receive it, God can speak it into the life of somebody else. And that person grab it. And that person will get it when you should be the one to get it. I'm talking things like this, spiritual stuff. I don't want nobody to come and tell me, well, you know, I'm going through this and I'm going through that. Anybody come with that going to be muted, bam, right away. Don't want to hear that. Don't want to hear nobody's business. 
spiritual stuff, spiritual things. How do you know when God is this? How you'll know when God is that? Name it, name it. You all understand me? Yes. Ask spiritual things that you're buckling with. I don't want to hear nobody's business. Even if you want to ask when somebody die, what they do, are they there thinking, looking, name it, question like those. Even if it sounds stupid, there must be an answer. Each person able to bring it forth in Jesus' name. So we're going to do this, people of God, the first person that wants to come forth, state your name, and then you can ask your spiritual question, and then Apostle will bring forth the wisdom through the Holy Spirit to answer that question. Well, the first person, take your name. Bless God, bless God, bless God, bless God, bless Crystal, Crystal, glory to God, greetings, family, and my question, wait, wait, glory wait, wait, to God, Apostle spoke, and oh, one no, of our services, is it with my line, bless God. Speak it's been an echo for a long time. All right, I'm the only one in my mind, and I'm whispering. Okay, go ahead. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Greetings, everyone. Praise God today. Beautiful service we're having. Thank you, Holy Ghost. My question is, Apostle had ministered to one of our, one of our sisters on the line about family and a mother and, and reconciliation and things. My question is, as I, being one that is used by the Holy Spirit in the midst of whether it be family, I hear the echo, I'm sorry, or strangers, how do you go about doing such a thing? Like, we know that we're letting the Holy Spirit use us, but I was compelled to do such a thing as I received what was being said to the sister. So reconciliation needs to come, and, and a family member needs to release some things. And I, I feel compelled that at this time, as, as days ahead, that we don't know what's going to happen or coming for us, that I need to be used, I need to be available for that. How do you go about doing such a thing? And if I could be more detailed, if I have to, I could. I just don't know if that's to be that clear on it. Bless God. Um, Minister Gay, do you get and understand what she have just said? Could bring it a little clearer because I'm trying to tap in. I think what she's trying to do is she's trying to take and receive you know, what was spoken about family and reconciliation when you administer to someone on the line. And what she's trying to do is, how do we go about... Wow. There are... 24. ...attendees in this conference. Oh, and join the conference. Bless be to the Lord. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. Yes, I'm, I'm, we stopped so I can read her question in. So she was saying that you administered to someone on the line, to a woman, about family and reconciliation. And what Teacher Crystal wants to know for her own self is that she's being used, whether it be with family and friends, you know, how do we know, you know, how to go about doing this to flow in the Holy Spirit, to be used in situations? that he places you in pertaining to, you know, family and reconciliation. Is that correct, Teacher Crystal? Yes. Yes. Oh, bless the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We glorify the name of the Lord God Almighty. Number one, 
in the midst of this first the first thing you do when you're you know um you, i mean you desire these things to to be done right and you wanted it to be done right so the first thing you do you pray on it always pray never you rush and go and do anything without praying and pray yes, the amen. things the, always pray the things that you want to see happen when you pray about it yes. god will bring signs of um reaction in the midst you might see your family might come around and say oh crystal um you know, I know that you're a Christian long time, da 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 da. And you know, um, I just feel in my spirit to ask you this question. If I'm, if I'm getting dream that, you know, I, um, I, w I want to serve God and that how do I go about it? Or, um, you know, I'm getting dream where I see myself, um, not, you know, not being that close to you, and I know I see you crying, stretching out your hands to me, and da da da. But see, you pray about the things, and when you pray about the things, the God, as He said, I'm not the God that I should lie, nor the Son of Man that I should repent. When you desire it, pray about it. God will bring it come so easily because He said He's also the God that will work on the desire of your heart. Yes. And right there you will see that manifestation and you will know exactly that is God. Because whatever you're praying about, you will find that person come to you and things will become so easy. Amen. Yes. 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 And Apostle, this is a follow-up to what you taught on. It's time to reap the sweet. As our sister delights herself in the Lord, he shall give her the desires. Amen. Of her heart. Amen. So it all works hand in hand because of the, you know, the delighting that you're doing in Him. He will bring Amen. these things to pass and you will reap the sweet. Amen. <clears throat> And it won't be, it won't be, it won't be as difficult or as hard as you, you know, believe it would. It would not be, be as that. It would be so easy. 